You want to know what the single biggest mistake good people, good organizations make when it comes to root cause analysis? Stay tuned because I'm about to let the secret out. Hi, I'm Rob Weaver. For years, this has been the biggest question and biggest challenge that I face when teaching our globally renowned methodology root cause investigation for Kappa. And as I said a moment ago, this has nothing to do with any one particular organization, industry, or even culture. This is something indicative of human nature. And by the way, I'm not talking about those everyday little mundane problems. I'm talking about those serious high risk scenarios that require a documented investigation. Are you ready for it? Here it is. We immediately start to look for possible causes the moment after determining there's a problem. Okay, I've got some explaining to do. Let's imagine that we just received some feedback regarding a problem that's arisen. Perhaps a few defective products were found on a production line. Perhaps some customer complaints have just come in from the field, or we just learned of a contamination issue. Our instincts are to immediately try to figure out what happened. But let's be honest, more often than not, the initial information we'd receive is going to be limited at best, nor have we verified it, nor have we dug in deeper to understand the problem more fully and holistically. In other words, at this point, we barely understand what's going on. What on earth makes us think we can effectively problem solve at this moment in time. Now, if you're not sure if this is what you do, ask yourself, what is the first tool you use when starting an investigation? If your internal answer is a fishbone diagram, boom, this is what I'm talking about. Now, I realize I'm probably in a lot of hot water with that statement because let's face it, the fishbone diagram is the single most popular root cause analysis tool in the world. And I acknowledge it's a very good tool, but we shouldn't begin an investigation using it. Why? Because the fishbone diagram is designed to do one thing, identify possible causes. Again, we barely understand what's going on when we first become aware of the problem. And we're simply not in a position to determine if any of the possible causes we're generating are going to be relevant or not. And we inevitably end up in this cycle of trial and error, vetting out each cause one at a time, any of which could take a few hours or days or weeks or okay you get the point until we finally arrive on the actual root cause which side note here in my methodology i refer to as the technical root cause or technical reason for this performance issue now can we get to root cause this way of course i just stated that this is what most people do and yes most people get to root cause eventually. However, my experience is that the investigation will also be longer, more painful, more arduous, more expensive, have more risk than there needs to be. Let's put the fishbone diagram away for just a little while and get to know the problem a little bit better so that when we do start to identify possible causes, we can have a higher level of confidence that the causes we're generating are at least relevant. Now, I admit this will probably feel counterintuitive, especially given the sense of urgency we'll have. 
and probably our leadership will have, and probably our customers will have, and maybe even a regulatory body will have to solve the problem now. However, we've seen over and over again that taking the time up front to better understand the problem before trying to identify possible causes, even if it feels like we're moving too slowly, will, over the aggregate of time, lead to not only more effective investigations, but also more often than not, faster investigations. Perhaps now you're thinking, okay, wise guy, how exactly do I do that? Well, funny you should ask. Here at Weaver Consulting, we teach a step-by-step -step technical problem-solving methodology, including how to effectively establish and narrow the investigation scope with data before trying to identify possible causes. To learn more, you can watch an executive overview of our methodology. See the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep digging.